Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be doing a POV, not in a city, but here. I'm currently at Land's End. Never been here before. This is the most furthest down I've ever been in England. And I'm going to be doing some landscape photography. The sun is quite harsh, but we'll see what we can do with that. I'm also going to be shooting with a Sony a7R4. Probably using the 24 to 70 f2.8 and maybe switch to the 85 f1.4 at some point as well. And at the end of today's video, we are going to be having a look for the hashtag CP photos. So let's get started. Okay, so this is where we're going to be starting today's POV. We've got this really cool shot right here using this line as a leading line up to the building, the Land's End building. And I'm going to go real nice and wide for the shot, go low to the ground. I've got my aperture f7.1, 1000th of a second shutter speed. I'm going to bring my ISO down to 100, it's focusing straight on the center on the Land's End sign. And we've got a really cool leading line shot right there. Isn't exactly straight because obviously the building isn't completely straight with the line. Some architecture didn't think of that for photographers, but we got a really cool shot nevertheless. All right, so we can't pass an opportunity to take a really cool photograph of a bike. This Ducati right here. I'm going to bring down the aperture to f2.8 to get shallow depth of field. Shoot it at 70mm. Focus right there. Got Land's End sign in the background, which looks pretty cool. And we've got that shot right there. We'll do another one right here. I like the red and the white and the black contrast. That looks really cool. Look at this classic Jaguar right here, guys. This looks fantastic. Wow. I'm just in the car park and look at this. What's a beauty. Let's get some detailed shots. I can't get a landscape shot of it because it's surrounded by other cars. So I'm just focusing on little details here. Right, so this right here, the wheel. I like the framing here. You might not be able to see it with the GoPro. But I can get the telephone boxes right there through all the different frames. I kind of like that. I've dropped the shadows a lot in that shot just to make it so it's like a strip of light with the telephone box. Maybe a conversation between these two people here at Land's End. Right there. Focusing on the lighthouse behind. That's a cool shot of that gentleman right there. We've got a lot of cool shots we can get around here. Gonna use that block right there as a little bit of a foreground, focusing on the box over there. That's a cool shot. Okay, what have we got around here? We've got that down there. I want to get to a better vantage point to get a photo of that. I'm actually at a good vantage point here to be fair. Gonna have to recover the shadows quite a bit today. I'd rather try and recover and save the highlights than the shadows because I can bring the shadows out with this camera. I'm very confident in the abilities to bump up the shadows to bring me to the right exposure and where I want it to be. A couple of cool shots there, I like that. Do another one right there, really blowing out the background with the shallow depth field of f2.8 at 70mm. I'll be able to do something real nice with the colours on that one, I reckon. Maybe bring in a fade from the sun from the left hand side to the right. See if we can get a photograph of this gentleman here. There we go. Okay, we can get some uh, cool shots looking down on these cliffs right here. Look how blue this sea is. Much better than the brown one up at Scarborough. I thought that was a really cool frame right there. Just the boat right in the middle, right there. I used a crop mode as well to get the 27 megapixels so I could zoom in a little bit more. This right here is an absolutely amazing landscape. So I'm going to bring up the f stop to f11, bring down the shutter speed to 160 of a second, 1160 of a second. Take that photograph right there. Look at the moth on this sign right here. This could just be a real nice, easy frame. That's kind of cool. A lot of detail in that as well. I've spotted a very interesting frame here. And I don't know if I could do it. Yes, I think I can do it. I'm confirming it right now. Between these two rocks, that I think is a lighthouse. All the way over there. Oh, look at that. You know what, I'm going to go into the crop mode a little bit. to give me a little bit more punch on the lighthouse right there. Oh, I like that frame. Yes, that is what we need to look for. 
I like this as a challenge, you know. I'm so used to shooting in the cities that I don't really do landscape photography anymore because I just, I really like what cities can deliver, but sometimes you forget what nature can deliver as well. And I think I'm gonna be doing a couple more POVs whilst I'm down here in Cornwall. This frame is kind of cool. We kind of got a leading line-ish with the old ruined path, but I reckon if I go down here, take a step down, right? Go into the crop mode, F13, 1 200 for a second, bring it down to 1 250 for a second, focusing right on the lighthouse over there, and we've got that. The 24 to 70 right now is the perfect lens for this kind of scenario because I can go wide if I want to, or I can zoom in. I'm actually finding myself zooming in a little bit more rather than using the widest of 24 mil. What I kind of like to do with landscape photography is focus on a specific point and make that my focal point of the main image like find something that catches my eye and keep it right there this is a nice little shot here of this bridge look at that such a simple frame but so much vibrancy oh this is building to be something good all right that's as far as i'm going to go because there is a big drop there and i can go out this way so let's see what we can do oh yes i know i had a good feeling about this look at that does that even need any explanation right there okay so that is the pov from land's end all complete hopefully you enjoyed that i am excited to say for the very first time in my channel there will be three videos in one week the next two will be on wednesday and then there'll be another one on friday as well the next one will be a pov with the sony a6400 in the lovely town of St. Ives. So if you don't want to miss that, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. So before we end today's video, we are going to have a look for the hashtag CP photos. It's been a hot second since I've looked through it. So I'm excited to see what you guys have been creating recently. So we're going to start here by mustache lens with the blue and the yellow tones in this image really drawing my eye in. That is a really cool photograph right there. This is a fantastic reflection by photos by sal i really dig that and it's perfect they got it at the golden hours as well this one really draws my eye by jameson coleman the vibrancy that rolls voices sitting there i like that you've got no one walking in front of it so it's a focal point of the image perfectly with a stunning backdrop as well that is a fantastic shot i also like this one as well by scene by t love the reflection shot right there that is pretty cool oh for god's sake i forgot the charge one of my lights how do i always forget to charge these I like this shot here. This is a really cool city street shot by Kenobian. I really like that. I like that with the light source as well. Like that is the only light source for the image and it works so well. This is pretty cool as well by Garth Fit Photo. This is really cool. I like that. I like that with the colours in the sky as well. This one by NDE29R. I like that. I like where the sun's positioned on them. Real nice, simple, clean frame as well so clean i love it this photograph right here by hazen's vantage point look at the symmetry look at the colors look at the reflection this is a really cool shot by isabella this old cool aston martin like the scene around it as well robo racer these are really cool shots as well that third one the detail everything about that that is amazing and we're gonna have a look at one more photograph today and i'm gonna choose this one right here by tom white that is a lockup shot and a half. You have, that is a killer. That is a killer shot right there. Okay, so that is where I'm going to be leaving today's POV video, guys. I hope you have enjoyed it and I'll see you guys on Wednesday. I can actually say that because I'm confident that I'm organized for once, which is a very rare formality for myself. So until next time, guys, take care, keep creating, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.